What is going on? It's your boy Yanzo the Don. So I thought I'd film some e-skate locations for you. So if you ever pass through my city, you'll know uh, where to go if you decide to go e-skating. So yeah, let's get to it. This is Thorning Street, down there. That's a pie van down there. Okay, so this here is Thorning Street. Roads are super smooth. And this part of Field Street, super smooth. If you go the other way on Field Street, it's not as smooth. And if you just follow the path, that will take you all the way to a shopping center. So at the beginning of Thorning Street, you'll find a pie van here. Monday to Saturday, pies, sausage rolls, cold drinks. And then there's another one on Paradise Street, somewhere around here. So if you pass here, plenty of choices for what type of food you want to eat if you get hungry. And then if you just keep heading this direction, uh, there's a Coles there, so grocery shop, pizza, bakery. Alright, so what I like about this street is not many cars pass through here. And look how much road there is. Roads are wide. You know, most of the group e-skate rides that you see are in big cities. And it's just traffic light to traffic light. So, this is what e-skating looks like in a smaller city. This is just a small part of a total of like 25 kilometre route that I take when I go e-skating. And every time we get here to this street, it's like heaven. By the way, I've changed my wheels from the 97s to the 85 millimeter Kaguamas because uh, 97s, they're really heavy. Well, they're not really heavy, but like you do feel the extra weight where, you know, 85s, it's not too big, it's not too heavy, it's in between and it's really smooth. So at the end of Field Street, there's a cul-de-sac, but there's a walkway that you can go through. Yeah, if you're going to do commentary, you should probably write some things down that you can talk about because I don't got nothing to talk I mean, about. In spring, it's weird because it'll be 10 in the morning, 10 degrees Celsius. And then midday, it'll be like 25, 27 degrees. You know, I'm always thinking like, I don't need two boards. I don't need two electric long boards. I should sell the Gen 2, but whenever you hop on it, it's just like, you remember how good it is, how smooth it is, how quiet it is, how minimal the maintenance is on this. And then you don't want to sell it. Oh shit. Gravel tap up ahead. Single belt drive, will I make it through? This pathway is actually not too bad. Like the cracks, they're very small cracks, so. But yeah, Thorning Street, Field Street. You can get really wide calves. When you go down a pathway like this, it's not as wide, so you can't carve as hard. And mid carve, when you hit one of those cracks, you sometimes go sideways a little bit. And if you're not used to going sideways, it does get a little bit you know, scary, a little bit. 
So if you just keep following the path, you can basically do a full lap around South Mackay. I'm getting connection issues because the board is flat. Shit. Luckily the car's not far away. Yeah, board's flat. The good thing about the Gen 2 board, it's not that hard to kick push. Cause it's only a single belt. So if you do go flat, Still got a tiny bit of charge left. All right, maybe uh, maybe it's not flat. Pie burn. All right, so Monday to Saturday. It's not just Monday to Friday. There's pie burn right there. Or as we like to call it in Australia, smoko van. Yeah. Quality on these kaguamas. Like it's it's quality urethane. So with the Gen 2, when the battery goes a little bit flat, you can still roll. It just doesn't give you maximum power. So you, you can't accelerate full. And I think it's completely flat now. Nice. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.